Xbox has found itself pretty much at square one as it relates to the Xbox Series X anticipation going into next gen. How did this happen? And how can they get the hype back? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of The Medicine. Do me a huge favor, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. Say it with me, baby. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. So, we all know, as I alluded to in the bumper, the inside Xbox, the infamous inside Xbox, which included the first ever Xbox 20 for 20, which is supposed to be a highlight of all of the next gen experiences that you're gonna get with the Xbox Series X or the Xbox Series family uh, of consoles, if that does truly exist. It's rumored that the Xbox Series S is going to be um, highlighted during these showcases. It's gonna be monthly shows every month all the way up to the release of the xbox series console all right and here's what happened prior let me let me try to set the precedent on why this is such a big issue what happened prior is see xbox has been getting dragged all over the place all generation fairly or not that's it's just that's just the ebb and flow of things they've been getting dragged okay Finally, they were able to get themselves out of the negative spotlight, get, get themselves from under, under the rainy cloud of the media <laughs> in the ire of, of the pundits by doing the Xbox Series X reveal at the Video Game Awards. That went a long way. It dropped a lot of jaws and made a lot of people say, oh, wow, you know, these mugs are serious going into next gen. And because of that, they were able to maintain a level of hype. It dipped a little bit sometimes here and there, but when PlayStation came out with its bewildering <laughs> showcase, well, I don't want to say showcase, but it's bewildering tech talk with with uh, Mark Cerny, it, it, it kind of helped propel Xbox even further. And once that happened, people said, hey, we still know that we're going to get stuff, some great stuff from PlayStation. But as far as ushering in what this next gen fidelity is going to look like, Xbox got 12.7 teraflops. Let's rely on Xbox. We're going to use Xbox as the catalyst to help us show what we can expect at the top tier level from these next generation machines. That was going to be the de facto source. And Xbox has been the most outgoing they have most consistently communicated what they plan to do they've been the most outgoing with this information so news publications rely on news xbox is giving it to them on a regular basis they are now friendly with each other until may 7th <laughs> because the fact that all the pundits and all the mediaites relied on xbox said you're going to be our de facto source to help bolster our news or clicks and all the other stuff come on show us the games show us the games and what they showed the audio as 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 next gen 720 likes to say the audio didn't match the visuals people were heavily disappointed and a lot of you might be saying you know what mm2k you're over bloating this it's not that serious that's a you problem that's the bike comment big ups to the hobie that's a you problem i love this so therefore because i loved it i am <laughs> mentally connected to everybody else you're just not connected they all loved it well i got something to show you let me show you something this is from tech radar xbox series x Cross-gen approaches robbing players of the next-gen thrill. Golly. <laughs> then we have GameIndustry.biz. Xbox set some wrong expectations for next-gen live stream. You know what I'm saying? Next, we got Screen Rant. This is even where developers, <laughs> because the showcase was so bad. Look, this is an indie dab. You don't get on no bigger stage opposite the PlayStation than the Xbox when it comes to showing your indie, your hardcore indie game on the stage. Especially Xbox was the hottest ticket right now. 
but the Ascent shows off next year gameplay after lackluster Xbox showcase. <laughs> like they were like, hold on. God ain't doing us no favors. This was a, we were supposed to propel farther than this. This is trash. And then all of the uh the the lackluster response or or feeling that people got from inside Xbox led to this peculiar statement from IGN. You need to lower your expectations for next-gen graphics. Now, to Jeff Keighley's credit, he responded to this and said, you know what, this, this, this article isn't gonna age well. But when you understand publications, you'll understand why they're doing this. First, Xbox was going to give them the creme de la creme as it relates to next-gen graphic fidelity. Xbox with this showcase failed in that realm per their hyper. So these publications still gotta get clicks in their mind. So we're turning lemons into lemonades as far as they feel. If Xbox ain't gonna give us what we want, we're gonna dog the hell out of them. And that's what IGN is doing, okay? That's exactly what IGN did here. They said we were expecting for people to be like, oh, that Xbox showcase was superb. Ah! Let's go to IGN in different places to see how superb it was. And they didn't get that. So they said, we still gotta we still gotta create clicks from this. And that's why relying on the pundits and trying to get too cozy with them instead of forcing them to respect you, like you did with the 360 era, they had no choice but to respect you. Cause you was popping mugs and then taking names later. Getting out of that realm and trying to get all cozy with them leads to articles like this headlines like this so that's what the history of uh, this whole debacle has been now what can xbox do to get themselves out of this rut you know what i'm saying well the first thing is as it relates to publications they gotta stop relying on digital foundry i've said this a thousand times now i i i have my own issues with digital foundry outside of xbox there i i they're not a publication with an integ with, with integrity as far as I'm concerned. They don't have an integrity standard that is to my liking. But the only reason why I'm talking about them now is because Xbox relies so heavily on them. Because Xbox was giving them news, taking bringing them out to the to the castle and showing them the Bibblewatts and the Gigahertz. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna clap like a baby seal. Uh, uh, uh. We're happy to have Xbox content because PlayStation ain't giving nobody no content right now. But because you don't hype up what they promote, they were so quick to take that trinket and stick it in your back and turn that mug. Those mugs were salivating over dogging that Xbox show. They were salivating over it. When you look in, in, in contrast to when PlayStation had its peculiar Mark Cerny show, oh, they they were dancing around the edges. So what is the lesson learned here? At the end of the day, y'all, Digital Foundry don't like you. They appreciate the news that you help build that helps build their Patreon. But at the end of the day, they don't like you. Stop leaning so heavily on them. Along with stop trying to get cozy with these publications. Force them to respect you. But here's the here, here's the wherewithal with everything that's happening. This all because of Xbox made these mistakes trying to cozy with publications and, and, and leaning so much on Digital Foundry, a dangerous precedent has been set. That Xbox truly can't deliver. That's that's the. I'm not saying that that's the truth. I, I don't believe that. But you know, perception is nine tenths of the law. So they're going to get their click somehow, and that's the that's the precedent to try to set that um, Xbox can't deliver. You know what I'm saying? And that sets up a precedent for PlayStation to just come in with their showcase because we know that they're good at theatrics. For them to white knight this and say, okay, even though we got the less teraflops, we know how to make things look good. So, look, and, and another thing that we want to do too, or we want to avoid, is we got to stop arguing over, well, Xbox's intent was to do this. That's why the show little it, intent, does, you got to ask yourself, what comes first? The chicken or the egg? 
the horse or the carriage what comes first right and the reason why i ask that is because what's more important your intent or the perception that you lead if your intent is to do something that's going to leave a bad per uh, perception then you need to find a new intent it ain't about us understanding you you got to understand us and you got to cater to us so with that said the next xbox show has to be killer and if it being killer, if it means them backtracking off this 20 for 20 idea where they're going to show something every month, if they got to look at the content that they have for two particular months and say, look, this is too light for it to be killer, we got to merge them together and do that. I think it will be totally understood because y'all had to come out and apologize for the lackluster show. And I think people will understand and appreciate it if you came back out and said, OK, look, we're going to we're going to do the 20 for 20 a little differently. We're going to do it every other month. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that we got an impactful show for you guys. I think that'll be the best way. Because now it's shown that you just being vocal and showing things ain't going to be good enough. You set a precedent. People were hyped up and you dropped the ball. And maybe the best thing to do is to go back to the drawing board, revise how you show stuff, and then maybe condense some things. Only show the stuff that's going to wow people so people can you know um, get back that favor that they had when you guys revealed the xbox series x because it can be done and it's still early as far as i'm concerned but those are my thoughts that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think but if you did like what i had to say check out the links below to follow me those links will lead you to the broadband bullies pnts network hard knock digital culture and yes to stadia dosage and with all that said again if you like the material Please like, sub, and share. And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.